I don't write the articles because I have to produce articles. I write the articles because there's information that I'm privy to and that I'm absorbing that I really need to communicate with people. A sitting through, listening to the testimony at a hearing, a story just kind of popped into my mind of this isn't, these statements that these people are making aren't just in a vacuum. There's a history to this and there's a, there's a development to the rhetoric they're using. Um, and let me try to tell that story about how what these people are saying today really has deep roots and has developed over time um, as a narrative. The information is just rhetoric, unsubstantiated rhetoric. Mm -hmm. No knowledge, no facts, no history. And it's, I mean, I think that's the nature of propaganda, but it's, we have fewer and fewer independent sources of um, information and data gathering and you know, the press that that can really provide the public with that kind of information. Um, and the attacks on public education over the last 20 years has, has resulted in fewer and fewer people being able to reason for themselves. Yes. You know, because your design. education model, right, is based on passing tests um, teaching to the test and just showing up to showing up to do your time in a public school, you're not developing critical thinkers. You're not giving kids tools to debate and reason and um, find the information out for themselves. When your culture and your people have been um, attacked and really slated for elimination by the mainstream culture, you find ways to survive outside of it. And so then when that central culture starts to disintegrate, and when the institutions of the, cent of the, the mainstream culture start to disintegrate, as ours are in this country, um, people who are, you know, were formerly on the margins come to be their own center, and others, others look at them and say, how have you survived this? This Ho-Chunk legislator, David Greendeer, said, um, you know, this is our country. We've been here for tens of thousands of years. My uh, people and elders in my community know this land better than any scientist could ever know it. Um, we have stories here. We, have, we, we know the quality and quantity of the land and water, and we our culture aims to protect it. We have a different kind of knowledge um, that is valid and true and the you know now the rest of you people in this state you're seeing what the powers um, of money and greed have done to us because they're starting to do it to you now. We are a sacrifice zone. Our people and our land and our water. We're a sacrifice zone for, for uh, multinational corporations. And not enough people have woken up to that. Really not enough people have, and how, and I really, how bad is it gonna have to get, you know, before people do?